Hello there. So I'm going to do a series of recorded lessons where uh, we're learning to read the rhythms on the page. I'm going to focus on this page today. We may hop around some. This is from the Essential Elements book, which is a popular book here in Texas to use for beginner band, to be honest. That's sixth grade, by the way. <laughs> sixth grade beginner band with percussion. This book is a percussion book, which also shows you bell parts and auxiliary. Uh, but our focus for today is going to be reading some of the rhythm stays that are in the back of the book. This is page 42. Now, I'll probably be lifting the phone going back and forth to make sure you see the rhythm. So, let's do that first with this one. And maybe I could do some of it this way where you can kind of hear it. So, we're going to start with line one. And as you're looking at line one... It's going to be super basic, which I know for playing on percussion, it's pretty simple to play it, but I want you to be able to recognize seeing it so that when we go over to written music or when we're writing out music, like whatever we're writing out, rock riff or walking on sunshine or, uh, I don't know, it could be just any song under the sun. Uh, we want to make sure that you understand your rhythms. So these are one count quarter notes. As you play those, that would be a one tap per note. One, 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 one. That's a quarter note rest right there. So that's a rest, a silent beat. You could say rest, one, one, one. Each measure here, these are divided out. They're measured into what's called measures because of these numbers here. The four, four, that's the time signature. <laughs> so with a time signature, the top number, means how many beats are in the measure in this case and in most of the ones I think on this page yeah all of these they all have four beats in every measure that could be added up a number of ways you see some of these look different down here it just depends on what the rhythm is it's quarter note which it says on the second part of the fraction four counts per measure one two three four the quarter note gets the beat so this would be counted one two three, four, it is played. One, two, three, four, it is sung. Ta, 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 whatever note you want to sing it on. I just picked whatever pitch that is. In this measure, it's just like this one, only the first beat is silent because that's a rest. So it'd be rest. Ta, 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 our rest ta 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 and so on the rest or the notes can be put on any spot in the measure look there's a rest that's between sandwich between two notes here's one sandwich between two different notes to play this whole line what do we have we have I'll sit down for a minute ta 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 rest Ta, 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 rest. Ta, ta, rest. Ta, ta. That's how you'd play it. If you just played it on the drums only. Let's say here's your tempo. Ready? Here I go. That's how that would sound. Okay, let's look at line two. It's simple on drums also, but the thing that's hard about line two and would be hard for many percussion people is that we have some notes that are longer like this. This is a half note. And when you play down the drum, there's nothing to sustain the note unless it is a drum pad that echoes, you know, or like on piano, if you play a half note. Bum, bum, ba, it would hold out, or if you sang it. But on the snare drum, it just sounds like, it's going to sound like that. And you just, in your mind, you make sure you make enough space. So what do we have here? We have one, two, that'd be counted, three dash four, because it's two counts. One, two, three dash four. Then right here we have one dash two, three four one dash two three dash four one two dash three four 
to play that. It will sound like this. Ready? Here I go. One, two, three dash four. One dash two, three, four. One dash two, three dash four. One, two dash three, four. Now, if you're watching this video, it's fine. You're probably going to have to pause it some, go back and forth to practice all of these lines, to practice these exercises. These first few lines, you're like, but miss, I just want to, I just want to beat the drums. I want to, and I know you do. I know you do. But I want you to be able to read what you're doing before you start making noise. And instead of making noise, <laughs> you're playing what is on the page. You're playing the rhythms. They do get more complex quickly. Okay. So have some patience. You also need to know how to do things like this. That's why we're doing it. Otherwise, I don't like wasting time. So if if it's something you don't need to learn, I'll skip it. You know, always, I'll skip it. and Or we'll go back to it later. You know, hey, I'll just brush on it and then go on back. But you got to know how to do this stuff. All right. These rhythm studies, you can practice these lines separately or make them one giant song. That might be fun, too, to make them one giant song. We're going to go on to the next line, which is... Uh, kind of a combination of what you just saw. Now, I'm going to show it to you. I want you to pause the video looking at it, see if you can count this without my help. We have quarter notes, a rest, one count rest. Here's a note sandwiched between another note with a rest. Remember, this note's longer, okay? Oh, my shadow is not covering it up. There we go. Then we have a rest at the beginning of the measure. That's a trick. That'd get a lot of people. Note. Two count note, two count note, rest, quarter note. So pause and see if you can do this. And then I'll play it for you. Okay, you're back. <laughs> and here it is. Okay, this is line three, which starts with the number nine. Here we go. And one, two, three, rest, one, rest, three dash four, rest, two, three dash four, one dash two, rest, four. That's what we have so far. Now, starting on line 13, we go to eighth notes, which are a different, different thing to count. And you've played eighth notes, but we're going to go back right now and make line one, two, and three uh, a giant song. Okay? So let's do those together without stopping. Okay? I'm going to go about this speed, which is kind of fast. It may be against my better judgment, but why not? <laughs> if it's too fast, you can go home and adjust it, of course, and pause it. Ready, beginning, here we go. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. One, two, rest, four. One, rest, three, four. Hey, time out. Did you notice I'm saying it? As I play it, make sure you also say it and play. If you try to guess and you're looking at it and not saying it, you'll be more, much more likely to mess up. So go on and say it. Here we go, again and beginning. One, two, three, four. Hey, that's not easy to do. So if you were able to keep up with me on any of that, yay! You might be here. You might be here. You might have had wah, wah, wah. And any of those are okay. To be honest, I went very fast. And it's sometimes difficult uh, until you get used to playing like that. How do I play like that? I have practiced a lot over the years, 47 years in fact, with a metronome. The low. And it keeps you steady and it keeps you honest. Especially if you're playing drums, you, you need to make sure that you practice with the metronome. It'll help you to keep things together. Because if you don't and you're not keeping the tempo steady, oh my gosh, it can be a big problem if you're trying to keep a band together later and your tempo's not steady, you're going to throw everybody off. So it's good to practice with the metronome. All right. Speaking of, you could adjust it to anything playing those first three lines. You could go back to 80, maybe like be here, 80 beats per minute. Rest. 
You could say slime, 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 or whatever we've done before. Pow, super, all the word association. Plum, 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 rest. Plum, plum, pear. Any of that will work, okay? Happy practicing with that.